Hi, I'm Ty Davis. You may remember me from GitLab, Agile Project Management. Safe and Agile Planning with GitLab. Configure GitLab Jira integration using Marketplace app. And classics such as GitLab Agile Project Management, 4-Minute Overview. Let's talk about how to control changes to product development assets. Git allows a wide variety of branching strategies and workflows. Because of this, many organizations end up with workflows that are too complicated, not clearly defined, or not integrated with the issue tracking systems. When converting to Git, you have to get used to the fact that it takes three steps to share a commit with colleagues. Most version control systems have one step, which is committing from the working copy to a shared server. In Git, you add files from the working copy to the staging area. After that, you commit them to your local repo. The third step is pushing to a shared remote repository. After getting used to these three steps, the next challenge is the branching model. Since many organizations new to Git have no conventions for how to work with it, their repositories can quickly become messy. The biggest problem is that many long-running branches emerge that all contain part of the changes. People have a hard time figuring out which branch has the latest code or which branch to deploy to production. There are many valuable approaches you could take, such as making a production branch that reflects the deployed code, you could deploy a new version by merging master into the production branch, or creating stable branches using master as a starting point and branch as late as possible. It should be common to protect the long-lived branches. For example, the master branch so that uh, most developers can't modify them. So if you want to merge into a protected branch, assign your merge request to someone with maintainer permissions. To stop people from messing with history or pushing code without review, you can create protected branches. A protected branch does three simple things. It prevents pushes from everybody except users with maintainer permission. It prevents anyone from force pushing to the branch. And it prevents anyone from deleting the branch. And so you can make any branch a protected branch. It is strongly encouraged to get code reviewed by a reviewer as soon as there is any code to review. To get a second opinion on that chosen solution and implementation and an extra pair of eyes looking for bugs, security issues, and any other problems. The reviewer can be from a different team, but often it is someone who knows the domain well. Before assigning a merge request to a maintainer for approval and merge, you should be confident that it actually solves the problem it was meant to solve, and it does so in the most appropriate way, satisfying all requirements, and there are no remaining bugs, known vulnerabilities, or other underlying issues. Retaining the privacy and integrity of your data is crucial. With GPG, you have a system for encryption of data that afterwards can be transmitted through open communication channels. Open communication channels can be email, cloud providers, messaging, and many others that are used daily. You can use a GPG key to sign commits made in a repository, enabling dependable data protection that makes it easier for creating digital signatures and file encryption. Thanks for joining. Be sure to check out our next video continue our conversation around source code management.